<clears throat> Hi folks and uh, welcome back. I was going to do the Dan Set Tempo tonight but uh, I got a visit from uh, my mate over at uh, from uh, Jay over at uh, from over at Jay Vintage Junk Jay's Vintage Junk and tonight this evening we're on the JVJ Shitter as you can see anyway yeah uh, I think some people think that I'm a miracle worker yeah we'll start by getting the head shell off now for those of you that have trouble getting the head shell off generally um, you just generally give it a tour oh, that one come off nice and easy that was a nice and easy one wasn't it but if they're stiff all you can do is just give them a good tug really uh, the cartridge is dead in this we know that because Jay's already assessed it and we know that but we'll put the head shell out of the way uh, right this is a uh, Right, this has actually got some uh, pretty bad, uh, pretty bad rust spots and stuff. So, what we'll do, uh, we'll get the turntable itself off. We'll start there, and we'll see what the idler and stuff's like, and we'll get all these controls off, and we'll see if we can sn snazzy this up a bit. I have got another control arm I can put on this, which is better than this one. So, and this lever here, if this doesn't clean up, uh, the control lever. If that doesn't if that doesn't if that doesn't clean up, I can change that as well. So, you know, we we we've got things that we can do with. So we you know we've got things. So we're not really a, not really a great issue. You know, because I've got a spare I've got a spares deck down there, so we're all right. The deck. Uh, uh, let's just wind the automatic mechanism off. It's there we go. Put that into stop. There we go. Right. So what we'll do, we'll start by getting the turntable off, and we'll uh, we'll do that. But, uh, that's accomplished by removing this clip. I hate to think. Oops. Wow. He's brought this in for me to be to uh, be serviced. Uh, and what we do to get the to break the taper, we get the clunker. Take our clunker. We lift the turntable just high enough, and then what we do, we go. There we are. Just one tap usually comes off. So, underneath looks nice and mint. But, uh, you know, we'll see what we can do with this. Uh, I have got some of that, uh, I have got nearly a full tin of that paint that uh, I used on Mildred's job. Uh, on the mouse shit. Uh, that I used on the mouse shit. The mouse piss. I'm mean, used on the mouse piss radiogram, so. Let's check his idler. You now we'll do an inspection of everything first. Put everything just into the turntable for now. Uh, this is completely original, you know. There we go. And there should be two spacers on the top of there. I knew that. Uh, I knew there should be two spacers, but they always find one. But there was two spacers on that. There's two, I think there's two on the bottom as well, I'm not sure. Let's see if there's another one here. No, that's the bottom of the mech. It's the bottom of the speed controller. Motor's not seized. Never is. Ooh, that spins nice and free, but listen to that. 
dry as a bone. So that needs to be addressed. But that's the least of its worries for now. Uh, what we'll do. Um, we're a bit rusty in places. I think what we're going to be doing here. Uh, I think we're going to be. Uh, I think the I think, I think the phrase. Uh, uh, I think the phrase silk uh, silk purse from a sow from a sow's ear comes to mind. I hope the rubbers are not perished because I haven't got any. Uh, that I am certain of. So what we'll do here, we'll we'll clip the motor wires here. Oh, they're all rotten. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's not actually the wire. It's the insulation. Not the insulation. It's just a little uh, plastic thing that was put over like a sleeve in like that stuff. So at least it's not the wire. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to snip these because basically uh, they only go to the switch. And I don't need to take the switch out, and it just saves a lot of bother. So I'll snip these and I'll re each ring, I'll re join them and each ring them um, when it comes to putting it back together. So what we'll do, we'll just the only go to the switch. No great detriment there. There we go. Now we can take the motor out because. This is going to be a pretty in-depth video on this unit. I probably won't take the grommets out because I don't have any replacement. Uh, to be honest, I don't feel like the pedal. Oh, I want to look at the edge of the idler. His idler actually is not bad, it's still rubbery, that's good. So his idler is okay. Now let's get the motor out. It's generally a push fit into these grommets on these. And you've got to be careful you don't tear the grommets when you pull the freaking motor out. There we are, there's one left to go. Yeah, we've managed it. Right. So, yeah, that motor's not bad. Why is it the motors never seize up on these things? So we'll put the motor in there as well. Um, uh, I want to take... I want to take this off, but I want to get it off in one go. And... I think the best way for now is to, and there's ball bearings under there, so we don't want to lose those. And this is, this is actually not as complicated as some of them. I mean, some of them have, bit, have a few extra bits. This doesn't look as though it has. Uh, just take the torn arm wires off. I'm just snipping them because I've not got the soldering iron on. Don't really need the soldering iron on. Um, just snip them off, that's all we need to do here. There we go. There we go. There we go, get that off a bit so I can get the cutters in and just... There we go. Doesn't matter about that plastic sleeve that fell off, it's decrepit anyway. So, and what we need to do is open this clip here because we need the tone arm wire out. Because we're going to have to do quite a bit on this. Now, yeah, this is slightly different. Um, this is slightly different. Ever so slightly. Still got the two screws in here though, so we'll, so we'll get the screwdriver and we'll take the centre spindle out 
that was a bit loose to begin with. There we go. That should be all we need on that one. And we can remove the whole lot. tight either. Oops. Ball bearings. They're small. And there should be five of them. There's two. Just get me a little magnet. And pick the ball bearings out with my magnet. There we go. Now the damn things are stuck on there. So we'll put them in there. And so what we'll do, we'll get the next one out. There's the next one. It's rolled across the bench somewhere. We'll need to find that. Mind you, I've got some so it doesn't really matter, but be nice to put in what I take out there it is. That's three. Ah. There we go. Right. Right. So let's turn this. I mean it doesn't matter really, I mean if we lose one or two, I've got plenty of them so it's not really an issue. There we are. And the other two are in there. And that will be put back together exactly like that. And that's all the ball bearings, we should have five of them. There's one rolled under the motor, one there, and that's five ball bearings and what we'll do, we'll put them, all the bits there, and that's the little rubber that goes on the bottom, right, let's pull that out of there, and it says taking that clip off the top which is, can be a pain in the ass. and that's the all centre spindle disassembled. And look at that, we've even got a bit of tree life in here, look. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Bear with me a minute, folks. Right. Uh, now. What we need to do next is remove this. On with this washer. Take the spring off it. No, that's not going to do it. Let's find the narrative posi driver, skillet strap. Keep that one in there so I know where it is. There we go. There we go. Lift the little thing out. The switch engages too. What we'll do, we'll take the speed mechanism out first. Because and 
these clips you've got to be careful with because they're only very thin wire so you don't want to be stretching them putting any strain on them whatsoever wash it out and if you're not used to doing this then make a note of everything you do so that when it comes to putting it back that should actually pull out of there but I'm expecting that to pull out of there see I'm okay because okay because I'm experienced I know what I'm doing but, that, but there again that's the whole point of these videos to show people who are less experienced how to do it get the spring off so I don't lose it right. and I've got a feeling off there I thought that would come from under that but it should still no it won't it won't so I thought that this would have come out but I'm sure that knob comes out of there so the clipping everything comes off so I'll try this go flying across the room Alright, this is probably going to turn into another in-depth video. There we go, as dry as a bone, look, folks, and that roller in there, it's not seized, but it's dry as a bone. We'll leave that as it is for a minute. We've got another clip in here, which has to come out. Yeah, that seized that knob. That's supposed to come out, but it doesn't. And there's a little, a little copper washer over there. So make sure that you don't forget to fit it, and make sure you don't lose it. It's there for a reason. So what we need to do next is see if I can tap this, just push this through without having to get the heat gun on it. Where's the, where's the little clonker? Uh, because it's not, it's not seized or seized, it's just, I'll tell you what. Let's do it the way I show you. There we are. We only need to move. There we go. So now we know why the speed didn't work. Right. I was just thinking, what's that on the back? That's my magnet. Now. for adjusting that make sure that little space in there doesn't get lost 
not sure I've adjusted that and I don't think that will come out just yet. Let's see if we can turn that. Nope. That has to be undone from underneath. And look at the toy arm. All needs a all needs are going over, so there's no point me. Right, and we we get the tone arm off. You have to be careful with these because some of them have bearings in and some of them don't. You know, ball bearings that is. Some have little ball bearings in and some of them don't, so you have to be careful. And you just take the screw out far enough, not too far, because you don't want to lose the screw. Then all we do, we just push, just hold it up there. There we go. Just push it through so you can just got something to grip a tool onto to just pull it out of the wire so because I'm okay for this job. There we go, drop that in there. Then we can lift the arm off, take it off the unlock it from the spring, take the spring off, put that over there, take the arm out. for the control arm. Alright, the control arm on these. Removal is achieved by undoing this screw here slightly and then pulling out the pin. There we go. Pin's a bit bent, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be. But we can check all that out. Now the control arm should just pull straight out. There we go. But it's not really a control arm on these, it's just a record stabiliser arm and there's hard grease in there that all needs to be cleaned. Uh, what else are we up to now? Uh, this is your control arm here, which is very stiff and really needs to come out so we'll take the control arm out oh right that's just all gone flingy that way and the reason for that is because I've undone that screw that was just should be able to. We should. Let's take the screw completely out. Uh, we should now be able to get this off the bottom of the control arm. to heat this one up as well. Just see if I can get it off. Yeah, that's seized on. That's going to have to be heated. Let's remove that. It does come off because it wouldn't put a screw in there if it didn't. Enough. Put the screwdriver in, see if we can turn that now. We'll not return it with that. So she used the little, uh, she used the pliers. We can't get a screwdriver in there. Oh, I 
don't want to come out. I mean, it's got to. really really monkey see the nice thing about this is I've got the manual so I can put it all back together I'm not taking all this out I don't think all this needs to but uh, all the end bit here needs to so is that roller there seized yeah that's a bit gummy as well uh, there's the bit I was looking for and that connects to this bar here it connects under where do we go oh it connects to there so I can take this off at this end it ain't going to come out of that end there we go so I'll take that off there there we go and this can all be washed now the tone arm Removal of the tone arm is achieved by undoing the scrub screw here. And there is bearings in this one. I'm sure there is. Just so yep, there we are. Look. There's a load of ball bearings just fell out. Let's get my magnet wherever I put it. And let's loads of them and the dry, it's all dry as hell and we'll leave them stuck on the bottom of that for a minute oh I'll just empty my ashtray all over my bench luckily all that's in it's cotton used cotton buds all right let's take the there's another ball bearing in there so we don't want to make sure we get them all Any under there? No, we've got them all there. Whoops. There's another one. There it is. We'll leave that washer on there. And we know the ball bearings all sit in between. There we are. We'll leave them ball bearings on the bottom of there. So we know that they're all there. And we know we haven't lost any because I would have heard it fall onto the floor. So we'll put that there for now. We know that they're all okay. Just double check. Because I have got some, but if I don't lose any, it means I don't have to root any out. And now what we can do, all that is okay to stay. Because the reason for taking all that out was to get this trim off because to get this back moulding off. Oops. Loosen that. And that there we go and it saves chewing the head off the screw if you can't quite get it with a screwdriver go for the bigger head there we are so 
they're all stuck in them. This really needs a good, I mean, needs a good clean and a good, uh, you know, a good service. I don't know whether I'll get this entire deck done tonight, but we'll certainly go for it. But there we go. Got something else holding that on. Leader. There we go, got it. And a lot of the clips are the same size, so you don't have to worry too much on that score. I mean, this would have all pulled out as a unit, but given the need to go over it all, it might as well come out. Make sure you don't lose any washers. And pull this out. And this is actually a spring under tension, so we'll let it off the tension and we'll lift it off. See that needed to come off because that was been stuck on and I can get that roller now as well. Lift this out. Right. See, I'm not too bothered about this because I've got the manual to put it back together. I've also got another deck down there as well. So. Now, can that lift out now? Turn that washer out. Right. that out. This up if we can. Take the washer off that. But, you know, in order to do the job properly, there's sometimes you have to resort to this sort of thing. Sometimes the whole fucking deck has to come apart to, to do the job. Now I'm hoping now this is all going to just come out the bottom, but. Get this one to put that washer up that goes on there. I'm hoping that this is now going to come out. And that pushes in. So. on there so we need to get this to rotate slightly and the reason why it won't rotate is because of the screws they're not screwed in they're seized in so we can just They're not screwed into that plastic. We need 
need to get at least one of them out. Let's see. They're just pressed in really, but Don't hit the. There we are. But don't hit the screw head, the screws directly with the hammer. You probably can with this hammer because it's brass and it's softer than the steel that the screws are made out of. Even so, why take unnecessary risks? There we are. Now we should be able to lift this whole unit. We should be able to take this whole unit free. should come out, there we are, now lift this out because we don't want to lose anything, that's not going to move anywhere so check we haven't got stuff that can fall off, so we've got that out and that's basically stripped down as far as stripped down can get really isn't it folks, I mean let's see if we've got anything here that's slipped in there might need to retrieve no we have not we're all right so they are Jay how about that fella oh hang on there's a spring underneath these armrests you got to be careful, I think so anyway. Right there. off well that does and we want the, the little key that that goes into that there I'll tell you what Jay when you see this you'll lay an egg <laughs> stretch the clip there we go I mean I've got all the spares for this so it's not really an issue there we are now right, that can actually stay well actually no it can't can it yeah, that can actually stay because it's not going to fall out. There's one of the other washers. There's the screw that goes in the knob. There we go. So, can we get this stop thing out? Is that easy enough to do? Oh, I'm going to have to clean inside that. Let's have a look at uh, the badge. Because... off because I'm gonna have to do it off to be honest usually you usually just give them a tap here and 
that sort of one so you don't break the lugs off you got there you go. got a way of attaching the bags back on afterwards so now if I just push that through it should drop off famous last words find someone to push it through with Try well the screwdriver doesn't work. Let's try this Phillips one. This might work. Yeah. There we are. It'll all be washed separately. And I bet it's nice and white under there. Look at that. See that patch there and that patch there and that put that's how the deck should look. That's how it should look for them. <laughs> anyway. See I've taken all that off because I've got a feeling I'm going to have to I might have to repaint it in places. So, there we go. Tell you what, folks, I've only just started on it and look at it. Do you know something, Jay? You said that was rust on the back. I think you're a bit on the wrong side there. I was as well. Because I thought it was it's not it's shit. Coming off. Look. So it was all rusty on the back. I thought it was as well. And it's not, it's shit. It's all coming off. Look at that. I'm going to take a bit of elbow grease on my part to do this but you know do you know something some people are gonna start thinking I some people are gonna start thinking I've got the magic touch and I'm God if that was the case I'd turn a mannequin into a woman Go, then I get my tea cooked for me every night. Let's see get that off there. there we go, that's even cleaned out. Clean that side. I didn't have to take that out. There we are. Need a bit more on that. But do you know something? Look at that. You know, now I've seen how clean this will come up now. I want to get it meant. Now I've seen how clean it can go. And it's not really rusty, it's just shit. I actually want to make it mint for him now. Or as mint as I can get him. There's a couple of scuffs in there, but... See, we're already looking better. This is going to be part one of this, uh, we'll call it a restoration, because that's technically what I'm doing. There's a few marks here and there, but I thought I was going to have to repaint the fucker, but I'm not. There's that spring that uh, I wanted out before, couldn't get the fucker. Just wiped the bench, don't have to worry there's nothing on the bench. I scraped everything up. Right. Oops. I've just got a wet crotch. <laughs> I 
tell you what, places I can't get into with the cloth, I'll get into with the cotton bud or the Q-tip as uh, you Americans call them. Get into one of them. But look at that. Do you know if I didn't do videos, people would think I'd gone out and just bought new old stock or they wouldn't believe, you know, the work I actually do. And you know, if I didn't do the videos, people just wouldn't believe the way I do things and how I get things to come back up to you know to shine. You know, it's the JVJ shitter. I'll tell you what, it ain't looking like that now, is it? Hey, we're uh, really does that rotate? Yes, it does. We're really starting to get here now with this. It's do you know we, me and Jay, we thought that was all rust. We thought it was all rust on the back of that, and it weren't. It was just shit. When we thought, because he said it's rusty at the back. And I looked at it when he brought it and I couldn't agree here more, you know, but look at it. Look at that. There's a bit of paint off there, but do you know something? That's not even paint missing at all. Yeah, it is. A little chip in the enamel. But all the shit's just polishing off it, I mean... You know, I mean, I want it as nice as possible. Now, see how it can look. I'm not going to settle for second best, I want it as mint as I can get it now. I'm not going to settle for second best because... I'm just not because... Uh, I just know... That this can be turned around and made to look... As good... As it did when it was manufactured all them years ago. Now, folks, still got some work to do on this. That's only first stage cleaning. I've got to polish it yet. There we go. What do you think about that, Jay? Now, believe it or not, I haven't uh, edited the video where I've switched it for another deck. That, believe it or not, that is the piece of shit garage that you brought round for me to service. Believe it or not, that is what you brought me. Uh, it's the same one. I've not done any slight camera tricks or uh, out like that. This is exactly what you brought to me. And that's how it's turned out. Give underneath here, oops. Give underneath here a clean. I mean, the underside's not critical, but there is crap on here, so it might as well be, may as well be clean and freshened up. I'm going to stop in a minute for a smoke, folks. I think I've earned one. There we go. Whoops. Not there a minute. Right, I've got another message from my friend. Uh, there we go, look at that. Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it there, actually. I'm going to call that part one. I've got a mark there, which wasn't really a scratcher out. I mean, and it was really dingy and dirty here, and it was a bit of a mission to get out, but I got it out. I mean, I can't believe that. Look at that, it even shines. And I've not even polished it yet. So, you know... Oh, I've oh, gonna spray it all over my phone. Well, at least my phone display will get a clean and all, won't it?
there we go right I'm gonna leave it there folks and you know we'll get back onto it later thanks for watching this is part one of the JVJ shitter <laughs> see you in a bit folks